Steve, we're here at your beautiful home with the barbie going. Um, tell us about Woodfire. Yeah, so I guess Woodfire started as we, you know, sort of became interested in, in you know, charcoal grilling um, sort of meat. And, uh, and you know, we, we just love the flavour that the charcoal and wood gives steak. Yeah. And, uh, you know, these two ribeyes here are all pretty exciting. You know, we're going to cook for you today. And where are the wines from? So the wines are from Heathcote in central Victoria yeah. and uh, you know, extremely old soils and really renowned for producing rich, full-bodied, um, yeah. fruity red wine. It's a bit warmer and drier there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, warmer and drier and that's sort of, you know, conducive to, to that style of wine. Yeah, so we, they're pretty big wines, aren't they? They're very big wines. <laughs> nice. It's great to be here on the deck, the famous deck. Yeah, look, uh, you know, we... We love spending our, our summers out here and, you know, fantastic. We, we love sort of having a glass of wine, you know, cooking the steak, sitting down to a nice sort of, you know, steak and salad and, uh, you know, out here with a great view. Well, can we have a glass of wine while we wait for it to sure. warm up? why not? We always have a glass of red while we're cooking. Thank you, Chief. What do you think about that, Matt? Do you think it might go okay with the steak? I think it's going to blow up my nose. It's really? beautiful. So much fruit and, yeah, just some beautiful aromas. There's some big fruit. <laughs> it's not shy, we'll put it that way. Yum. Yeah. There's some tannin, but it's just all beautiful and smooth and round. Okay. How do you, what are you, what are you doing? How are you making the wine? So I guess we're, we're really trying to extract all the sort of natural colour and flavour that's um, in the fruit. Yep. But we're, we're still trying for some softness as well, you know, we don't want all of the wines to be quite, you know, so, so tannic. Yep. Um, so the Cabernet is quite naturally tannic, but Shiraz is actually a big, rich, soft, round wine. I guess this is a definitely a drinker's wine, not a sniffer's wine. No way. <laughs> well, here's cheers. Cheers, Steve. Uh, looking thanks, forward man. to this, hey? Uh, more, more smoke, flavor. more flavour. Yep. Ding dong. It's very theatrical, Steve, <laughs> I think it's magic. What sort of fruits are we getting out of this? Oh, for me, it's sort of blackberry and uh, um, some sort of dark plums and those yep. sort of characteristics. Um, you know, coming from a from a climate like that, um, it also sort of has a little bit of pepperiness to the yep. to the wine. So yep. they're starting to look pretty good. Yeah, no, they are looking good. Yeah. So Woodford, we've got a Shiraz and a Cabernet. Yes. Um, what's the difference between these two great varieties? Yeah, we, we, we have two wines that we make, um, yep. so wood-fired Shiraz. It's a, um, you know, it's a big, rich, softer sort of style of wine, but big and yep. round and those sort of characteristics. Yep. Um, maybe a bit more plush. And so the Cabernet's um, still, still big and rich, but it has more tannin. Yep. And uh, it's got sort of a drying finish and, you know, it tends to go really well with a lot of sort of meat and cooking and char and those sorts of things. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Yep. I guess which is... Well, which one's your favourite then? Yeah, look, I don't have any favourites in wine, you know, that you know, that would be like, you know, choosing one of your children. Yeah, fair enough. But they, they both have their place. The... Yeah, look, I think they've, they've both got a really nice place in, in, in you know, yeah. this sort of, you know, cooking or whatever, yeah. Do you have a favourite dish for either? Uh, I do. I probably, um, gee, they're getting some nice colour now, aren't they? I mean, they'll be another couple of minutes. That would be beautiful. Yeah, they'll be ready. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, I, I probably would would go um, sort of you know, you know rarer meats with yeah. with um, with Shiraz, and I'd probably go more well done with you know Cabernet. If I yeah, had to fair choose. enough. Yeah, I, I mean, and I think it's great for wood fried food all over the world. So yeah, China, Japan, Korea, yeah. some great traditions. Yeah, well look, and I think everybody, you know, I I haven't sort of heard of of any country not really interested in charcoal grilling, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, if you're going to cook with gas, you might as well sort of cook on the stove, I reckon. Yeah.